Hi guys, I'm Karen Blacher. I want to apologize for not posting videos lately. I actually filmed several and then my video editing software went kaput on me. So when I tried to edit my videos, it would splice together the sound badly or I would lose entire sections and it just became horrifically frustrating and I had to stop. So I filmed an adorable tutorial with my daughter that you are probably never going to see. I'm gonna do that face for you today. I also want to apologize. I haven't actually fixed the problem with my software. So the only way I can post tutorials right now is to post raw unedited video. So I'm sorry you're going to see me standing up to go turn on and off my camera and you're gonna to have to watch every little stroke and hear me uh, misspeak and these are gonna be longer videos than they would otherwise be. So my apologies, but I did wanna keep them coming. Now I received a request recently for some simple animal faces. So always happy to oblige. Today I'm gonna to do for you a blue kitty cat. Now this is actually just a variation on Lisa Joy Young's Fast Faces cat design with a little bit more color. So I'm gonna start this one with a sponge and some DFX white. I'm going to run some white down my nose. I'm gonna make a muzzle. Okay, and then I'm going to run that white stripe up all the way up between my eyes. And end it on the forehead. Okay. There's the white. Now I'm gonna pick up my DFX light blue on the other side of the sponge. From where I left off on the forehead here, I'm going to make two ears. Again, I'm gonna pinch the edge of the sponge to give me a little bit more control of the shape. So I'm gonna do ears on the forehead, like so. I'm gonna run the blue down all the way around the cheeks to the muzzle. I try to keep the paint above the brow line here because really it doesn't suffer for not being closer to the eye and it makes it easier for children to wash off. And as I say it, I'm putting it below the brow line. Ah, oh, what do you want? Nobody's perfect, right? Okay. So bring it around the eyes and up to that white stripe. So there we have the basic shape of the cat mask. Now I'm going to pick up on a sponge a tiny bit of my DFX metallic uh, pinkish red. Yeah, I want this really subtle. I want to do just a little tap on the cheeks and across the nose. Then I'm going to pick up that same color on a number six round brush. And we're gonna make a V shape for the nose. Press and flick. And I'll pull in the middle there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pink also in the ears, little teardrops. And 
that's it for the pink. Then on a number four round, I am going to pick up some DFX black. Now I'm going to do my detail work. So I'm going to start by putting um, a little accent in the nose here. Just to take away that sort of clownish effect. I'm going to run a line down from the nose to the mouth. Do the line around the muzzle where you want to start light, make the line thicker as you come around the curve and thin it out again as you come to the mouth. And then I flick the whiskers in from there. The number of whiskers I do depends on the shape of the person's face, but I usually shoot for three. Okay, now I'm also going to outline this mask with curvy lines. So I want this to be a cute, fluffy kitty. The top here, I'm going to do a sort of hair effect. Nice rounded ears, but do make sure they come to a point or look like a bear, not a cat. And for future reference, you could totally use this as a template for a bear. Just round out the ears. There isn't much functional difference between a bear and a cat. Or a cat and a dog, for that matter. Or a wolf. Animal faces, it's all the muzzle and the nose and then the colors and the shape of the ears. But dogs, cats, wolves, lions, tigers, bears, they all look pretty similar. Once you have the basics, you can kind of improvise one. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do little teardrops by the eyes to suggest eyelashes. I like to do three on each side. And then I finish this off. All right, I didn't take out my Q-tips. When I'm doing this on a child, if I'm gonna do lips, I use a Q-tip so I'm not cross-contaminating my paint, and I only dip once. Uh, since I don't have a Q-tip, I'm gonna use my finger to do it on myself. But I'm gonna put a little of that metallic reddish pink on the lower lip. And finally, we're gonna finish it off with some glitter. I like to put the glitter on this across the cheeks and across the nose, just to give it a little polish and maybe a little in the ears to balance it out. You don't want to glitter the whole thing because that's just too much. You want little accents. And there you go. This looked much cuter on my daughter. but. Here it is for your repertoire, a blue kitty cat. And of course, it doesn't have to be blue. You can use any color for the base that you like. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can use it. More animal faces to come. Thanks. And this is the part where you have to watch me figure out how to turn off my camera. Sorry.